This is a demo for sample setup and run design for the Connex kits for SQL 2, 2E, and Revio systems. In sample setup, in the application drop-down menu, you'll see three Connex applications. Connex single cell RNA, Connex full length RNA, and Connex 16S RNA. Let's select full length RNA as an example. All Connex kits will have the library type Connex as opposed to standard. We'll put in some test numbers here. And you see that it recommends the Connect sequencing primer with a light purple cap. All Connect libraries should be sequenced with the Connect sequencing primer. Note that if you are using the MosSeq for 10x single cell 3 prompt kit, in application you should be selecting the MosSeq single cell which has a standard library type, a different concentration recommendation. So I'm going to follow the recommendation here and uses the standard sequencing primer. Let me show you what this looks like for Connex 16S RNA and sample setup on SQL 2 or 2E. So it uses the SQL 2 binding kit 3.2. It has a different recommended on plate concentration and it uses the Connect sequencing primer. Now let's look at run design. Again, in the application, let's select Connect's full length RNA. All Connect's kits use the barcoded Connect's adapters, so the sample is indexed. The indices are currently called MOS Smart Belt Barcoded Adapters V2. There are same barcodes on both ends of the sequences. And using the interactive menu, you can select which barcodes you have used. All Connects libraries should be sequenced using adaptive loading on SQL 2, 2E, and Revio systems. For auto analysis, the default workflow is resegmentation and isoseq. The Connects full length RNA kit uses an eightfold concatenation. And the correct segmentation adapter set is MOSSEQ adapter V3, MOS8. The cDNA was generated using ISOSEQ Express 2.0 kit, which has the primer set name ISOSEQ V2 barcoded cDNA primers. We're showing an example here where we're uh, using the human reference set with the GenCode annotation. I will explain in a separate video what these two options mean. For now, we'll use the default. The two supported reference set for analysis is human and mouse. If you have samples that are neither human or mouse, you can select just resegmentation. We do have to go and pick the right segmentation adapter set, which is MOS8. And this auto analysis would generate segmented reads, which you can then select for secondary analysis in SmartLink, which would be the ISOSeq workflow. Let me show you what this looks like for Connect 16S on SQL 2E. So uh, here's a typo I want to point out. Um, as of this uh, video recording, this is incorrect. It should be 40 to 60, as you saw in sample setup. Hopefully, by the time um, you're watching this video, the typo has been, has been corrected. We'll leave the uh, default options all here. And for auto analysis, we don't support secondary analysis for 16S, only read segmentation. So you will use the auto analysis resegmentation. And with a, uh, the Connect 16S is a 12 foot concatenation kit. So we'll choose the MOSSEQ adapter V2 MOS12. I'll explain in a separate video after resegmentation how we can further demultiplex the sample, the multiplex of 16S amplicons. So that is the demo for sample setup and run design for the Connects libraries.